Hello everyone, welcome to Yoga by Hannah. Today I have a nice quick and juicy little hip opener for you to help increase mobility, help increase circulation and also help to prevent against back pain. So when you're ready, we're gonna to begin today's class in Baddha Konasana or butterfly pose. So just bringing the soles of your feet together, allowing your knees to fall out to the sides. Just play with the distance of your heels and your hips here, finding a position that's comfortable for you in your body today. From here, inhale to find some length in the spine, roll your shoulders away from your ears, and you're just gonna interlace the fingers and take hold of the tops of your feet. Take a nice deep inhale through your nose here, the biggest breath you've taken all day. And then as you exhale through your mouth, allow yourself to arrive on your mat. <sighs> Letting go of the day so far, letting go of anything that you need to do after class and just allowing yourself to be present here for the next few minutes. Slow down your breath here and just begin to take a little bit of movement in the legs, warming up the hips. Good, from here, bring the soles of the feet out onto the floor, so wider than your mat width. Bend the knees, inhale, draw up through your spine, so nice long spine here, and take your hands parallel to your mat. As you exhale, just allow the knees to fall over to the right hand side so that you've got a bit of a 90 degree angle in both legs. Inhale to find some length in the spine, and then as you exhale, take it over to the other side. Oh, I wonder if you heard that hip click then. Inhale here, find a nice long spine, and then exhale, take it over to the right. Inhale, and then exhale, take it over to the left, good. Inhale to come back to center, and from here, we're just gonna cross the legs, roll over the knees, and come into an all fours position on your mat. Take the big toes together, knees can come as wide as the mat, and we're just gonna take a few rounds of wide-legged cat-cow here. So as you inhale, drop the belly towards the mat, open up through the chest, send your gaze forwards, and as you exhale, tuck the tailbone underneath you, push away from the mat, send your gaze towards the belly. Inhale, cow. And exhale to cat. Inhale, cow. And exhale to cat. Two more here at your own pace, using the sound of your breath to guide you. Lovely. From here, coming back into a neutral all fours position. I'm just gonna turn on my mat so that you can see what I'm doing. And you're just gonna extend your right leg out to the side, sole of the feet is grounded onto your mat. And then just take a little peek down and check that the arch of your right foot is in line with your left knee. And we're just gonna take a little bit of movement here. So as you inhale, drop the belly towards the mat, take your gaze forwards. And then as you exhale, round through the back, send your hips back. Inhale to come forwards. And exhale to take it back. Two more, inhale to come forwards. Exhale to come back. Inhale forwards. And exhale, come back. Good, coming back into your all fours position. And we'll take the same stretch on the other side. So taking your leg out to the left hand side, grounding through the left foot, just checking that the left arch is in line with the left knee. Inhale to look forward, drop the belly down towards the mat. And then exhale to round through the spine, send your hips back. Inhale, come forwards. And exhale to rock back. Inhale, come forwards. Exhale, rock back. Beautiful, one more. Inhale to come forwards. Exhale, come back. 
and then inhale just coming back to an all fours position from here we're going to come into a frog pose so this is a little bit of an intense hip opener so if you do have any knee injuries or anything at all if it just doesn't feel right then please as always just come straight out of the pose and if you are wanting to use a pillow or a block or anything underneath the hips then please feel free to do so also so just walking your knees out as wide as you can until you can't go any wider and then just take a little peek back and make sure that your ankles are in line with your knees and that your hip points are in line with your knees so you're creating that 90 degree angle that we saw earlier on in class flex the feet and just shift your weight into the hips from here you can stay on the hands or otherwise if it's available to you you can come down to your forearms and we're just going to take four rounds of breath here sending your breath to your hips lovely well done coming back onto the palms now and just coming out wiggling the knees slowly back together from here you're in your all fours position bringing your hands out slightly in front of you spreading the fingertips tuck your toes under and we're going to lift the hips up high take a downward facing dog inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth <sighs> lovely inhale sweep your right foot all the way up towards the sky bend your right knee and we're just going to take some nice big circles with the knee here one way and then the other lovely release the right leg inhale lift your left leg up towards the sky bend your left knee and take some nice big circles with your knee one way and then the other lovely release back to the mat inhale sweep the right leg up bend the right knee and then as you exhale step that foot forward in between your hands from here you're going to walk the hands around to the side of your mat pivot on your feet so that you're coming into a wide legged forward fold just take a peek at the feet and make sure that the toes are slightly facing inward so slightly pigeon toed here inhale to find a nice flat back and then as you exhale draw the forehead towards the mat coming into your wide legged forward fold inhale find some length nice flat back and then exhale to fold lovely from here take your right palm and just place it underneath your forehead straighten through the right arm and then inhale lift your right fingertips all the way up towards the sky taking a twist exhale release that hand back down this time taking your left palm underneath your face straighten through the left arm inhale take your right fingertips all the way up towards the sky and exhale release from here just heel toeing the feet back to around about a hip width distance apart bend the knees drop the head and just allow the body to roll up stacking the spine rolling the shoulders away from the ears and when you get to the top inhale bend the knees sweep your hands all the way up towards the sky and then as you exhale bring your palms to your heart center bending in the knees coming into your yogi squat make any adjustments you need to here just make sure that you're pressing your knees back actively with your elbows and just make sure that you're not rolling in on the feet here so you're pressing through all four sides of your feet spine is nice and long here chest is open nice big inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth <sighs> lovely from here take your right fingertips down to the mat inhale sweep your left fingertips all the way up towards the sky and exhale come back to center this time take your left fingertips to the mat inhale sweep your right hand all the way up towards the sky 
and exhale, come back to center. From here, just making your way gently and mindfully to lie down on your back. When you get there, hugging your knees in towards your chest. Take hold of the knees with the hands and just make some small circles one way and then the other. Lovely. From here, take your arms out beside you. Not got very much room next to my wall. Press down through the palms, so palms are facing down. And just allow the knees to gently fall over to the left side, taking a nice twist. And then inhale, come back to center, allow the knees to fall over to the right side. Lovely, inhale, come back to center. And this time taking your knees towards your armpits, flexing your feet, sending the soles of your feet up towards the sky. Inhale to take hold of the outsides of your feet. Tuck your chin slightly, happy baby. Take a little rock from side to side if that feels good for you today. And just coming back to the sound of your breath. Lovely, from here, releasing the feet, soles of the feet down onto the mat. And we're gonna come into our final pose today, Supta Baddha Konasana. So bringing the soles of the feet together, allowing the knees to fall out to the side. Arms can come to rest beside you, palms facing up, or otherwise you can bring your hands to rest on the belly. Take a nice deep inhale here. And exhale, let it go. Lovely. As always, I invite you to stay in your resting posture for however long time allows. If you need to come out today, just gently rolling onto your side, pressing up, and we'll place today's practice in our Sukhasana. Inhale to reach your fingertips all the way up to the sky, palms kissed together, and then exhale, bring your palms to your heart center. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I'm hoping that your hips feel a little bit happier, and I hope to see you on the mat again very soon. Namaste.